I uh, was recently uh, laying in bed with the wife. It was like a weekday afternoon. It was like a Wednesday at 3 o'clock, and me and my wife were just sitting around laying in bed and cuddling, and it was really nice. And if you're married, or you know married people, or you fucking heard of marriage, <laughs> you know, it's the kind of thing that doesn't happen often. Like, we had to make a plan to be home together, you know? give time for each other and I'm on the road all the time and she's busy you know doing her thing whatever that is and so we just had to make an effort but it was real nice we're just cuddling no interruptions you know the phone was off and the dogs weren't on the bed and the cats weren't doing whatever the fuck it is they do you know when they run into a room and then panic and then sprint out what the fuck is that like they don't live there or something? Like they run in and then just lose their shit and then run out? It's always like there's some cat plan that you're not aware of. You know what I mean? Like the one cat sent the other cat in, like, go see if they're awake. And then he sprints in and then looks at you and goes, ah! Like in his head, he's like, what was part B of our cat plan? Oh, I remember piss, run. <laughs> Me and my wife were like, what the fuck? You guys live here too, you weirdos. We bought you, remember? <laughs> Jesus. So we're just laying there. No interruptions this time. It's just nice. It's just sweet, actually. Just like 15, 20 minutes of pure cuddling, right? And then I got to ruin it by getting horny. And it's Wednesday at three. I know we're not fucking. I know my place. <laughs> Sasquatch doesn't get sex while the sun's still up. <laughs> Daytime fucking. <laughs> nah, -uh, Sasquatch. <laughs> but you said daytime fucking. <laughs> nah, -uh, Sassafras. You're gonna have to take care of shit on your own, my friend. So I do, because I'm a man. I've been taking care of my own shit my whole life. So I send this guy down. I send Lefty down to do a little recon, right? <laughs> See if we can get some action, get something movement, right? And my wife is tucked in here, and she sees what's happening with Lefty. And uh, she's no idiot. She actually said this. She goes, uh, are you going to whack it? And I swear to you, I have never felt like a bigger loser. I was like, oh, I was thinking about it. Is that cool? So I got the go ahead, boss. And then she really said this. She goes, uh, well, do I have to be here for this? I'm like have to fucking get to. That's right, lady, it's called a privilege. I'm about to turn it awesome in here, single-handedly. Me and Short Round are going on another adventure. That's right, Nashville, I named my cock and balls after the adorable Asian boy from Temple of Doom. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones. Hold on to your potatoes. It's gonna get crazy in here. Indeed, short round, indeed. <laughs> Let's fucking crazy it up, homie.